Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing another spell for you guys. This is a much more elaborate spell. Uh, obviously we skipped the gory parts because obviously I don't want to, uh, you know, um, get in trouble with YouTube. Uh, so uh, there is a, this is a three part process for a client, some work that I've been doing for her for her and him we're doing two different works uh but this one is going to be for um a client of mine like i said it's a three-step uh, spell work and we are at the conclusion of it so this is for those of you guys that are wanting some type of reconciliation or if you're wanting commitment and marriage um based on the situation uh you can do this for uh to get a lover back uh, to have commitment, to remove any fears of commitment, anything that is keeping them from committing to you. This is a bit more drastic or stronger magic. Like I said, we've already skipped the gory part because obviously there's certain, uh, when it's being ritualized and when we're consecrating, there is blood, there's gore involved, and obviously we can't really put that out there. So this is the cleanup version. Now, for those of you guys that are, um, you know, for those of you guys that are vegans or anything like that, I'm not trying to offend. So just click out. This spell is definitely not for you. All right. Okay, let's get into it. As you guys can see here, this is a spell that is very strongly used in uh, Santeria. So what we have here is a sheep's heart. It's already been cleansed. It's already been prepared and ritualized, as well as the candles that we're going to be using. Um, so I'm going to, as you guys can see here, we've already started the spell work. Like I said, there is consecration with blood and stuff like that. And obviously, I cannot show those parts. Um, so anyways, what you're going to need is as far as ingredients, you're going to need a sheep's heart. As you can see here, we have that. It's already been prepared. By the way, you guys, sorry if my hands are dirty or they have blood. Um, we've been doing this spell work all day and uh, just putting it out there. Anyways, you're going to need a sheep's heart. It has to be authentic, you guys. It cannot be like you can't substitute it. It has to be a sheep's heart. Uh, we also have a skull candle here and we have um, uh, blood candles. Now, uh, blood candles are prepared and ritualized as you guys can see. You guys can find these on my online store. These are specifically for these type of rituals or these type of works. You're also you're going to be needing two of those could be pink or red. We're using the red skull candle. That's the reason why we're using two pink because we want to harmony. Uh, we want to bring har uh, harmony to the relationship, and we also want um, genuine love, which is already present. But there's a lot of pride involved, so that's the reason why we're using the pink. Pink. It's more romantic, more genuine, more authentic, not as forceful. Although with the sheep's heart, we are pretty much dominating their heart. Um, but I do want to make sure to bring in that innocent type of love as well. And we're also going to be needing a black candle. Uh, black candle obviously is to dominate the situation as well as you're basically going to need the black candle because it does go with the spell work. Obviously, you're working with a specific energy, specific spirit um, that is that of domination. So you're also going to be needing one stick of... Uh, one stick of cinnamon you're going to be needing some spirit powder now if you don't have spirit powder um, you can go to my Instagram I did upload a video on how to do spirit powder by on your own basically um, I might upload that video on here on YouTube I'm not sure we'll, we'll see um, but anyways you can go to my Instagram and you'll be able to see that so what I like to do is I like to use uh, the authentic way of making spirit powder as well as ritualized spirit powder that I have here. It's a combination of both. So again, if you use both, it is extremely powerful. Not only that, but it really brings uh, the essence of the person or the target, especially if you don't have anything that is of belonging to them 
uh, this is a very good way of really empowering the spell and getting very quick results. You're also going to be needing some uh, holy water. You're going to be needing a big jar, obviously, to put uh, the heart, so it should be big enough that it would fit. You're going to be needing some type of oils. Now, for this specific spell, I actually prepare uh, my own my own um my own love potion for this specific spell um if you guys are interested in that stay tuned i will be uploading a video as well on how to prepare that type of potion but if you don't have that handy you are going to be needing love oils and love binding oils as well now like i said there is a specific way that i do that love potion specifically for this spell work and it is used with some of the sheep's blood. So um, obviously it empowers, but if you don't have none of that handy, you can always get any type of love oil that is going to assist you for this spell work. You're also going to be needing some type of chili powder, not very spicy, uh, but you do want to create or you want to empower the lust and the desire for them to have towards you. And you're also going to be needing some honey. Um, honey obviously to swing the situation and as you can see here we have onion now if you have let's just say you're doing this because you want commitment you don't need the onion based on this situation there was a separation so that's the reason why we're using the onion we want the target to cry to miss to feel like they cannot uh, continue going without the client uh, to really cry you know to really feel like their heart is aching for them and that's the reason why we're using onion okay all right so like i said you're also going to be needing vodka now vodka what it does it is going to help uh to make sure that the sheep's heart does not rot in uh, so it's very important to get uh, vodka and it's a mixture of the vodka with the potion so i will take you guys through those steps now, like I said, there is specific steps that I couldn't really show on here, um, but I'm going to give you basically the rundown. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a picture of yourself as well as a picture of the partner. For uh, showing purposes, let's just pretend this is the partner's picture and this is your picture. They have to be separate pictures, you guys. It cannot be the same picture or you guys cannot be together in the same picture. Now, for the target, meaning this is for your partner, this is who you're doing this work for. Let's say this is their picture. If you have a full body picture of them, at their head, so let me give you, um, I don't know why I did that, but anyways, um, I'm an amazing artist, I know. All right, so let's just pretend this is the target or the person, and this is their picture, and it's a full body picture. What you're going to do is at their head, you're going to put your first name, last name, and date of birth, okay, in on their head. Now, the reason for that is because we want to keep them thinking of you. We want them to constantly be thinking of you. Uh, to be desiring, to be missing you, all of this. So that's the reason why your name goes on their head, okay? Now, like I said, if you do have a full body picture of them, what you can do is you're going to write by the heart. You can write, I miss, and you're going to put your first name and last name. In their private area, you're going to put, I need or I desire, and your first name, last name, and date of birth, okay? Um, so you can do this all around their body. Keep in mind, obviously, the heart would be like my heart aches if I am not with uh, your first name, last name, date of birth, that type of thing. Now, once that is done, what you're going to do is you're going to place uh, the partner or the target's picture underneath the skull candle. Why? Because this person, this target, this is their mind. This is, this is a representation of their mind and their thoughts. So you're going to put their uh, picture underneath their head, okay? I hope that makes sense. Now, let's flip this and pretend this is your picture. So we're going to draw another head, figure, 
figurine stick whatever you call that and let's just say you're a girl or a guy whatever you can do this for both sexes any sex sorry it doesn't matter now let's pretend this is your picture what you're going to do is on your head you're going to write down your first name last name and date of birth why are we putting your own information in your picture because this is an exchange of energies so we want to empower ourselves and we want to like make it easier for them to submit or to be much more submitted to us so that's the reason why we want to empower ourselves so for this uh for this picture of my client i'm going to put her first name last name date of birth on her head and in her heart i'm going to put i am beautiful i love myself i love my life i am so happy to feel unconditional love that type of energy so you can do this for yourself you would write um i am in love with myself i am empowered i am strong i am so happy with my life whatever it is that you want to put on here this is to empower yourself this is to extract the heavy energy um obviously if you're doing this you're doing this because the person is stubborn prideful or they just don't want to come back so you want to make sure you're the one that's not obsessing over the situation it has to be the other way around the only way to get that type of energy or balance is for you to feel empowered with yourself okay i hope that makes sense so anyways once uh you've put that in from your information on here what you're going to do is you're going to put you're going to get some honey and you're going to put honey on your picture you're also going to be adding some chili powder on your picture why because we want them to burn for love we want them to lust after us we want them to think of us constantly and have this weakness within them to submit to any of our desires so that's why so once that is done what you're going to do is you're going to fold your picture towards yourself um so in this situation what you're going to do is you're going to be folding it towards you and you're going to say i pull you i pull you towards sorry not i pull you <laughs> what you're going to say is you're going to say I pull myself towards his heart, mind, body, and spirit. Or I pull myself towards her mind, body, and spirit. So every time you are folding the paper towards you, you're going to be saying this. You're going to be saying, I pull myself towards their first name, last name, and date of birth. Okay? Um, I pull myself towards them, mind, body, and spirit. So once that is done, what you're going to do is you're going to fold the picture once the picture is folded let's just let me just give you an example you guys so you have it fold right folded enough where you're able to fit the paper sorry the picture in the heart of the sheep's heart all right so let's just say we have it ready what we're going to do is we're going to get the heart and we're going to put insert our picture with our information in his heart okay not his heart sorry in the sheep's heart so once you put it in there what you're gonna do is you're going to get you're gonna get some onion and you're gonna rub the onion around the heart and you're gonna insert some pieces of onion in there and what you're going to say is you will cry you will have no rest you will think of me day and night you will cry tears for me this will be a reminder of how much you love me. This will be a reminder of how much you need me. Once that is done, what you're going to do is you're going to add outside the heart, you're going to add more honey and you're going to add some paprika as well. Um, always with the thoughts and with the constantly thinking, you're thinking of me, you're lusting after me, uh, you're constantly thinking of me and your heart it feels almost as if your heart is being ripped out of you when you're not with me okay so once that is done what you're going to do now is you're going to then go to the skull candle like i said you're going to bless it with holy water 
you're going to write on the target's head, you're going to put your information, your first name, last name, date of birth. At the bottom, you're going to write down their information because this is their head. So at the bottom, you're going to put your target's first name, last name, date of birth. And all around the skull, you're going to be writing down things that you want them to think about. As an example, you need me, you can't be without me, you miss me, you desire me, you lust after me. I am your weakness. If you're wanting commitment, you're constantly thinking of committing to me. You're constantly being reminded of how much of a good wife or good husband I can be to you. So again, you're going to write that all over the skull, okay? Now, if you are currently separated and you're doing this for your partner, but your partner is not wanting to reach out, etc., then you're going to use, like I said, the onion on the heart as well as get some onion and rub it on the eyes. And you're going to say out loud, you're constantly thinking of me. You're crying over me because it is a representation of how much you love me, you need me, you desire me, and you lust after me, okay? All right, so right when you have that ready to go, what you're going to do now is, by the way, if you guys don't know how to bless or consecrate, there is tons of videos on my channel where you see me blessing um, with the holy water. You guys can see that. Um, so what we're going to do now is what you're going to do is you're going to be adding some of the honey and some of the spices as well to the skull. Okay. And we're also going to add some of the paprika <coughs> to the skull. Don't put very much of it. You want... You want it to, it, I want it to be very spicy. I want it to be very exciting um, for my clients. So that's the reason why I'm putting uh, chili powder. Now, if you want to go softer, you can use paprika or you can use any type of uh, honey that is, that has some type of spice to it, okay? All right. So once we have that, what we're going to do now there is a process, you guys, to blessing and activating a heart. Now, if you're not aware of how to do that, comment below and let me know you guys would like a video for that. I will teach you guys how to do that. But for now and for time purposes, um, this has already been consecrated and ritualized, so we're pretty much ready to go. Like I said, there is a way to activate the heart once everything is prepared once you have all the ingredients you have the picture on there you've put the onion on there as well and it's ready to go you have to render it life you have to empower it so the way to do that is a process um, that a lot of us in you know in our practice we we do to activate especially when we're talking about like animal parts and stuff like that you have to empower that before actually using it but like i said for time purposes we're just going to skip that step if you're interested in learning about it definitely comment below and we will do a video on that okay all right so once we're we have that and we're pretty much set to go what we're going to do now is we're going to get the jar you guys make sure to make sure to activate the jar as well and to cleanse it before beginning this okay i'm going to pull this a bit here so you guys can be able to see and what we're going to do now is i'm going to be adding i'm going to be adding um the love potion that i do for this specific type of work I'm going to pull it over here. I don't want to spill. Okay. Now, if you guys are interested in knowing how to do that love potion, comment below and let me know, you guys, and I will be doing that for you guys, okay? All right, so once we have that, we're going to add some lust potion that I do as well. All 
all right? And finally, what we're gonna add is some vodka. Now the vodka is, actually I need to put the heart in here first. So that's what we're gonna do. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, I bless and consecrate and activate. For my clients, it could be a representation of their love. And bring to them. Okay. So once, not sure if you guys can see, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we're going to be adding or inserting the heart. In the jar and in it goes, all right? So what we're gonna do now is I'm going to be adding the vodka on here. Now the vodka is to preserve the heart What we're going to do is we're going to break the cinnamon and add the cinnamon on here. Okay. All right. So it's going to look like this. All right. Now we're going to bless this. So once that is done, what we're going to do now is we're going to close it. And when you're closing it, you're going to be saying, I seal your heart and bind you to, you're going to say your first name, last name, and date of birth. So give me one second. I seal your heart and bind to. All right, so then you're going to close it and you're going to put it on top of your work, okay? Now what we're gonna do is, like I said, you're gonna get the onion and rub it on the eyes of the skull. Now, keep in mind that when you're doing this, as an example, if you be, ideally you would do this in a new moon, waxing moon, or full moon always always start this work earlier than what you expect to light this candle why do we say that you want to light the candle when the target is asleep because they're at their most vulnerable so i'm in california time it is witching hour right now which is 12 um actually 12 15 but i'm sure that the or sorry the target is still up around this time because they work late into the hour. So I'm going to, I have this ready, we're set to go. Now this is not going to be lit until 3 a.m. this morning, why? Because that's the time that the target is going to be asleep, which is when they are at their most vulnerable. Now, this is a seven day ritual. So what you're going to do for seven consecutive days is you're going to light the skull. Now keep in mind, that because it's a seven day ritual do not let it burn out completely so for each single day leave it burning for about an hour the skull candle now throughout the day when it's not lit you want to talk to it a lot of people don't really understand how to work with skull candles and they think that by charging it once and you light it boom it's done and that's not how spell work is done especially with skull candles 
skull candles is a representation of their head. So throughout the day, I'll find myself walking past my altar and I will speak into the skull, into the skull what I want it to do. So as an example, I will say the target's name and I will say you're thinking of and you're missing and you want and you want to text them, you want to call them, that type of thing. So every single day you're going to be doing that throughout the day and you're going to light the candle late into the night when you know the target is sleeping. Like I said, leave it burning for about an hour, 30 minutes for some. Uh, it just depends what you prefer. And once the 30 minutes or once the hour is done, you're going to snuff it out. Never blow out your candles, you guys. So before lighting this, what we're going to do is this is why we have uh, the black candle and the two uh, bleeding candles. Now, what we're going to do is I work in triangles, so I would put uh, the, the two uh, bleeding candles to the front up here and the black candle back here and I will light it at 3 in the morning before I light this and I'm going to speak into the skull what I want it to do. I'm going to speak to the target what I want him to do. I want him to be completely submitted to my client. I want him um, to text her, to communicate with her, to let her know how much he loves her, to remove any animosity or any any type of resentment towards my client. Um, you know, you're thinking of her, you're missing her, you're desiring her, you can't live without her, um, you're constantly thinking of her, and the thought of losing her brings tears to your eyes, that type of thing. And then we light, once these candles are lit, um, and you take about 20 minutes speaking into the candle, then that's when you light the candle. Make sure to light it when you know that the target is sleeping, okay? Very important. Now, like I said, with the three candles, the bleeding candles, um, if you don't have bleeding candles, you can always substitute them for normal candles. For those of you guys that don't know what bleeding candles is, it's a candle that has two different colors. So when you burn it, it literally looks like it's bleeding. And that's the type of energy that I'm bringing into the spell work. Why? Because I want him to literally feel, um, literally, not literally, sorry. <laughs> I want him to uh, really metaphorically speaking feel like he's bleeding uh, like his heart is bleeding if he's not around my client so that's the reason why we use the bleeding candles so again you're going to put your candles at each corner and the black candle sorry and the black candle at the uh, at the back to form a triangle um, and you're going to light them speak into the skull candle what you want it to do um, and then after that, you light it, leave it to burn for about uh, 30 minutes to one hour each single day. Now, if it does consume in less than seven days, then consider it, uh, consider the spell work to be accepted. Um, also, candles have a lot, especially when we're talking about figure candles, they speak a lot to us uh, depending on how it burns. So again, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know there were certain steps I wasn't able to show you guys, but... You can still uh, follow this video and do what was shown to you in this video and you will get amazing results. You guys, if you don't know anything about protection, don't do this type of spell work. I'm going to put it out there and let you guys know. This is very heavy work. So again, if you don't feel comfortable or if you don't know really about how to protect yourself before doing this type of spell work, then just don't do it. Go to another video on my channel uh, that is most ideal for you. Um, because you do have to make sure that you're extremely grounded and protected to do these type of spell works, okay? All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope uh, it's not as difficult. Um, and I hope for those of you guys that do try it out, definitely comment below and let me know how it goes. Till then, many blessings to all of you guys, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.